Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share my favorites from the month of April. I cannot believe how quickly this year is flying by and it's nuts that we're already doing my favorites from the month of April, but this one's a good month and I have a few things that I think you're gonna love just as much as I do. Okay, the first one is something that I bought this month and I don't know why it took me so long to do this. I have been blogging for coming up on 10 years and it is taking me this long to get organized in terms of my outfit shooting and I bought a clothing rack. It's such a simple thing, but it really does make me feel so much more organized throughout the week. So now that I have an office space, I actually have the room to dedicate to having a little clothing rack, and it has changed how I've gotten organized for the week. Now I can line up all the clothes that I have to shoot and I'm not scrambling or feeling like I have nothing to shoot because I have all my outfits ready to go. It's also made steaming my clothes so much easier and I just feel more energized and excited about going out and shooting my different outfits because I am all organized. Definitely all for organization and this is just such a simple thing that I wish I had done a lot sooner. And I actually bought this clothing rack from Target. It was super cheap. I wanna say it was under $20 and I highly recommend it. It was super easy to put together and it just looks really fun in any sort of room. You can kind of have like a vision for what your style is going to be for the month or the week and see what color you're leaning towards it's been really fun next on my list is a pair of shoes that I actually loved so much I bought in two colors I know I kind of keep including shoes in my different favorite videos but the reason why is I like wearing simple outfits and shoes are just a fun way to accessorize in a different way and make an outfit look a little different a little chicer a little bit more casual whatever you're in the mood for so these shoes are suede mules from J Crew factory they were under $50 when I bought them and they keep going on sale, so it's definitely worth looking into if you want to revamp your spring shoe wardrobe without spending too much money. I bought the shoes in both a navy and a black. I've been wearing them with all kinds of different outfits recently and it's great because they're not open-toed, so even when it's a little chillier out, I can still feel like I'm wearing something cute and fun for the spring weather. Because they're mules, I've gotten a couple of questions on whether or not they're comfortable or easy to walk in. I at first found that mules were kind of hard to walk in and I felt like you were gonna have to like grip your toes to keep them on. But because these have a little bit of a heel, I actually find that they're really easy to stay on my foot and they're super comfortable and I can wear them all day long. Okay, next up on my list is something that I'm so proud of. If you watched my video last week on Spring Lookbook, you might've already gotten clued in on this, but it's my friend's new clothing line. I absolutely love Julia and she's one of my closest friends and I'm so proud of her for launching this. And it's not just a one-off blog collaboration. It's a clothing line that she's going to be launching new collections every single month. So even if you missed April, stay tuned because there's more coming out this month and next month and the month after that. And I've gotten a sneak peek at some of the things and let me tell you, she did such a good job and I just can't wait to see where they go from here. One thing that I'm just so honored by is that she actually named one of the dresses from the April collection after me. And I mean, Guys, that is like a dream come true. I felt so honored and I was so excited to see all your guys' tweets about seeing the lookbook and being like, oh, is this named after you? It must be named after you. It looks so much like you. She did such a good job picking out the print and the style and the cut and it really did feel so Carly. Again, that was in the spring lookbook, so I'll make sure to leave a link to that above if you wanna go check out the rest of the outfits from that. I also reviewed another dress from the line on my blog, so I'll leave links to both of those posts in the description box below if you want to check out more photos of how I style the dresses. I also wanted to make sure that I included one of my favorite beauty finds for the month. So this is a product that I rediscovered during my move and I actually forgot that I had it completely so I was excited to see that I had nearly the full bottle to try out. It's this Bumble and Bumble sea salt spray that you use to blow dry your hair. So I tried Bumble and Bumble sea salt sprays before that you spray into your hair and let your hair air dry and it really does give you this like nice beachy look. But what I love about this spray is that you spray it on and you're supposed to blow dry your hair. I find that even though my hair is super curly, that when I blow dry and straighten it or curl it, that it can get really flat all of a sudden and then I lose all of my natural volume and texture. So what I love about this spray is that it gives me some of that natural texture back. 
My hair isn't quite as soft, but it definitely looks a lot better. So the only person that's really affected by like the softness of my hair is me. It definitely just ends up looking like I have so much more volume and a lot more texture. So I've been using this every time before I blow dry my hair and I'm super obsessed. And I think I'm just gonna keep buying this and buying this. Highly recommend it if you haven't tried it yourself. When I use it, I still use my round brush to get a really good sleek look, but you can actually use like a diffuser or like a lower setting and still get a windblown look by using your hands instead of a brush and still get that nice, just came from the beach glow in your hair. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I always feel like I have the best hair days after going into the ocean and just letting my hair air dry. So I'm all about this sea salt spray in a bottle. Another thing that I was really excited about in April is that I got into a new routine at my new gym. I was really worried about that because I loved my old gym in Connecticut so much, but I'm really happy with my decision here in Hoboken and I'm finally getting back into a regular routine and feeling amazing about it. And one of the things that I tried to do was because it was a new gym, Gym, I wanted to get acclimated and kind of get my bearings at the gym. So I signed up for a personal trainer. It's definitely been a expense that I didn't have at my old gym, but I found it to be super, super worth it because it's amazing to have one-on-one -on -one attention. And she can really help look at my body, see what I'm doing right, see what I'm doing wrong, see where my weaknesses are, see what my strengths are. One thing that she actually recommended, which is my favorite for the month, is that I should start doing protein shakes after my workouts. So when I first started, she had me send over everything that I ate for three days straight, and it was kind of intimidating to be like, oh, I'm out having nachos with my friends, and oh, I accidentally skipped breakfast because I slept in a little bit too much. And so she was like, you are not consuming enough protein and that's gonna really affect your ability to gain muscle. So she was like, you need to get started on a protein shake and she recommended one that she takes herself. I've noticed a huge difference and even more so than my muscle tone, although I'm definitely seeing a difference in that. I just feel better after a workout. I don't get that like shaky, hangry feeling a few hours later and I just feel better. But one thing that I'm definitely noticing is that my muscles are getting stronger, which I'm super excited about. I felt like I kind of plateaued for a bit after working out at my old gym for a while, and now I'm definitely starting to see that change again, which is always motivating when you're working out and seeing a direct improvement or results at the end of the day. Okay, this might be a little bit of a cop-out for one of my favorite things, but it really was something that I was so excited about throughout the month, and that is just my friends. I mentioned that my friend Julia launched a new clothing line, but in addition to that, I've just had so many incredible things happen with my friends this month and I am so, so, so proud of them and just feel completely honored to be their friend. Actually, like sometimes don't even feel worthy of being their friends because I think they're that amazing. If you read my blog, you might be familiar with Maxie McCoy who does Maxie Mondays every other Monday guest posts and she's just one of my closest friends and I'm so, in awe of everything that she's been able to do and I'm always so inspired by her and even though we're friends I just feel like I you know just look up to her in such a big way. She's written a book and it is being published in August and everyone will be able to buy it from Amazon or a local bookstore. I am so proud of her and I actually got to see a copy of the book in person and it was an emotional experience because as of her friend, I know how much work went into it and how many years she spent working on it. And just to see like the actual physical copy of it was so overwhelming. And I had seen, you know, digital renderings of many different options for covers and to see the final one like in a physical copy was just so cool. And I'm so excited for her. And then one of my other friends who I've been friends with since I was four years old got engaged this month and I just feel like there are so many amazing things happening and my friends are truly the greatest in the world and to see them succeeding and following their dreams and building the foundation for their future, it's just been incredible. And I just feel so lucky to call these amazing women my friends. Next on my list is actually an old favorite, but I've gotten re-into it and that is The Office. If you guys haven't seen this show, you need to watch it. It just gets funnier and funnier every episode. I watched the entire series about five years ago from start to finish and I kind of wanted to restart a show that I already had watched before and so I didn't have to get super invested and could kind of tune out every once in a while if I needed to. 
but I forgot just how amazing The Office is. It's so funny and smart and the humor is just hilarious. And maybe it's because I'm a little bit older, but the jokes are like even funnier to me. I have kind of just been flying through the different episodes and just laughing every night before I go to bed. I watch like 15 minutes just to kind of relax and unwind. And it's just been so much fun. And I kind of can't wait to start it all over again and rewatch it. If you've watched The Office, leave a comment below and tell me that it's your favorite show too because it's just the best. Number eight on my list is actually a camera that I have had for years that I've just been super intimidated by. I actually bought it for my ex-boyfriend to use, but he obviously is no longer here or using it and it's just been collecting dust in my closet. And last month I went on a trip with my friends to the Bahamas and my friend Kelly kind of really inspired me to pick up the camera again and she taught me a few different tips that just helped shed some of the anxiety that I was feeling about shooting in manual mode and some of the things that I just had never understood all started to click, no pun intended. So it's been really fun to kind of practice my photography and just to get a little bit more into it and I've actually been taking classes on Skillshare just to brush up on some more tips and to learn things from experts in their field. So if you have been intimidated by cameras and shooting in manual, I totally feel you. I was the exact same way and still kind of am to a certain extent, but I definitely am getting more and more comfortable and the more I shoot, the better I feel. I'm going to include the one photo that I'm the most proud of that I've taken so far. I'm gonna have it show up right on the screen. It's not perfect, but it was definitely the best one and I kind of got lucky with the settings, I'm sure, but I've improved even since then, but this one I'm just so proud of and I love the way Ryan's eyes look and it was just fun to shoot and I can't wait to keep practicing. I also wanted to include one of the books that I recently read. I actually listened to this on audiobook, which is one of my favorite ways to read books, especially when I'm short on time. And that is The Confidence Code. I have heard of the book before, but I was kind of not really interested in reading it or listening to it, I guess. And I finally downloaded it just to see like what it was all about. And I listened to about 20 minutes of it and realized I was completely hooked. It is something that I think every girl in their 20s should be reading. I plan on getting copies of this for all my friends at some point and recommending it as graduation gifts. So the confidence code just goes into what gives women confidence and what makes them better in the workplace, what makes them better in their personal lives. Some of this stuff was kind of self-explanatory or something that I, you know, you could kind of guess, but to hear the science behind all those facts or those rumors or those myths that you think of, to hear the science behind it was just amazing. I felt like I walked away from reading the book with a bunch of tools in my back pocket that could make me even better in my professional and personal lives. And I just think everyone needs to read this. So if you haven't read it, put it on your to read list ASAP. And finally, last but not least, I wanted to share a pair of pajamas that I recently got. I am obsessed with these. And I kind of have told myself that I'm not gonna buy any more pajamas because my collection has gotten out of hand. But one of my favorite pairs got stuck in the dryer recently in my new apartment. It was so sad and like the ribbon that ties the waist kind of got destroyed. I was really, really, really unhappy with that. And I kind of went online. I was like, let me just bite the bullet and replace the pajamas. And they just didn't want to spend uh, nearly $100 on them again because I already have them and everything else about them is perfect except for this one stupid string. So I went on to J.Crew Factory to just replace like it with the cheaper version of it. And I actually ended up spotting this pair, which is totally different than the pair I was trying to replace, but I am obsessed. So cute and so comfortable and I actually have a more expensive version from a different brand on Nordstrom and these aren't as soft but they're still pretty great quality for the price and highly recommend them if you are like me and love a nice matching set of pajamas. This weight is perfect for summer nights and I definitely find myself reaching for them every night from my pajama drawer just because I love them that much. Okay, so those are all my favorites from the month of April. I will be back next month with my May favorites. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button.